Songs of the Pogo by Walt Kelly is a delightful collection that merges whimsy with satire, blending lighthearted poetry with pointed social commentary. The book, published in 1956, compiles songs and verse inspired by Kelly's beloved comic strip character, Pogo Possum, and his friends in the Okefenokee Swamp. Kelly's work is notable for its playful language, clever wordplay, and the subtle yet sharp critiques of contemporary issues. The tone of the collection is often humorous and light, but it is underscored by deeper reflections on human nature and society. Kelly's poetry, much like his comic strip, works on multiple levels. On the surface, the verses appear as simple, humorous ditties filled with puns and absurdity, yet beneath this lies a critical eye examining the follies of politics, culture, and human behavior. One of the key themes in Songs of the Pogo is the absurdity of life and the human tendency to complicate simple matters. Kelly often uses his animal characters to reflect on the nonsensical nature of human affairs, particularly politics. For instance, the character Pogo famously remarks, We have met the enemy and he is us, encapsulating Kelly's view that many of society's problems are self-inflicted. This sentiment echoes throughout the poems, where the antics of the swamp creatures mirror the often irrational and self-destructive tendencies of people. Another significant aspect of Kelly's work is his use of language. The poems in Songs of the Pogo are filled with playful rhymes, puns, and invented words, creating a unique linguistic landscape that both entertains and challenges the reader. This inventive use of language not only adds to the humor but also serves as a vehicle for Kelly's satire. By distorting language, Kelly highlights the absurdity of certain social conventions and the artificiality of political discourse. The whimsical nature of the poems is further enhanced by the illustrations that accompany them. Kelly's drawings, much like his verses, are deceptively simple yet rich with meaning. The illustrations often add an additional layer of commentary, complementing the text with visual humor and satire. Through this combination of words and images, Kelly creates a world that is at once fantastical and deeply reflective of reality. Songs of the Pogo also touches on themes of friendship, community, and the importance of maintaining a sense of humor in the face of adversity. The camaraderie among the swamp creatures, despite their differences, serves as a reminder of the value of cooperation and understanding. This theme is particularly resonant in the context of the 1950s, a time of political tension and social upheaval in America. Kelly's work subtly advocates for unity and mutual respect, even as it pokes fun at the absurdity of the world. While much of the collection's appeal lies in its humor, Kelly's social commentary is what gives Songs of the Pogo its lasting relevance. The poems offer a satirical look at the issues of the time, such as the Red Scare, environmental concerns, and the growing influence of mass media. However, the themes Kelly explores are universal, making the collection as relevant today as it was when it was first published. In conclusion, Songs of the Pogo is a brilliant example of how humor and satire can be used to address serious issues. Walt Kelly's playful language, inventive rhymes, and sharp social commentary combine to create a collection that is both entertaining and thought-provoking. Through his poems and illustrations, Kelly invites readers to laugh at the absurdity of life while also encouraging them to reflect on their own role in the world's problems. Songs of the Pogo may appear lighthearted, but its messages are profound, reminding us that humor and insight often go hand in hand.